Thank you ever so much, Christian. Okay, I'd now like to welcome uh, Chetan Damani, co-founder of Cashew AI, to the stage, who will explain why voice delivers deeper consumer insights and better brand experiences. Round of applause, please. Hello, everyone. So I'm Chetan. I work at Cashew. Um, and this presentation, I'm going to go through like 10 of the most common questions I get asked on what Cashew actually does. Um, so ultimately, we create interactive conversations. So we do conversations on smart speakers. We build conversations on TV. We build conversations on things like WhatsApp. And they act like a landing page. And you would drive traffic to those conversations using ads. So on audio, you would target smart speakers. TV, you would target TVs which have voice activated capabilities. And on uh, mobile, you can target any mobile device that can open up in, uh, into WhatsApp. Um, so this is basically our platform that we're about to launch. And it allows publishers, because that's what we focus on. We focus on helping publishers make more money um, and monetize more of their content. So this platform allows publishers to generate and create interactive content. Um, with that interactive content, they can also run adverts around it. So those, those would be interactive conversations. They can launch those interactive conversations on Alexa, um, on Google Assistant, which is about to go, um, and to WhatsApp. The other thing that we do is, because this is a brand new ad format, there's a lot of insights and data that you can collect from um, these formats. So we have an engine which collects and does all the analytics for you, and, and it builds a client-ready report, which will tell you exactly what part of that campaign is working, what conversations are working, and things like that. So uh, why are we working on interactive conversations? So we're focusing on interactive conversations because there's been uh, a lot of research around where people, where consumers are interacting with brands. And we've seen that Meta came up with this stat. And they said 70% um, of all customer interactions are going conversational. And so this is why we're building uh, a platform to allow um, brands, to allow publishers to create interactive conversations that will allow you to launch those on these platforms and um, have customers speak and engage with that brand. So what does an interactive ad look like, an interactive conversational ad look like? So here I'm going to show you one on TV. Um, you'd run a typical advert. Um, this is one we did for TripAdvisor promoting Orlando, which would be targeting um, consumers on a Fire TV, which is a voice-activated device, targeting people who are in market for travel. Um, and once they do, they can engage. And once they interact with it, they get a full screen voice activated experience. Um, this one hasn't got audio, but um, there is normally audio in there. But that, that you get voice activated experience, which guides a customer through um, a small snippet of what TripAdvisor content is um, on the actual TV. So it doesn't give them full the full TripAdvisor site, but a small snippet, which then goes into that middle ground. So you're getting those customers who are seeing the advert but don't necessarily want to go to the website straight away. These are the customers who want to engage with a little bit of content, need a bit more convincing. And because you're giving them a frictionless way to engage with that, um, they're, they're more likely to actually interact with it than actually go onto the website. So this is a question that we get asked quite a lot. Um, and that question is, like, great, you're doing all, all these interactive uh, ads, but like, what do we need to do? What do we need to change? So as I mentioned, the actual interactive conversations sit on Alexa. They sit on the Fire TV. They sit in WhatsApp. But you still need to have a campaign or ads driving traffic to that. Um, and so this is an example of, so you don't need to change your format. You do your media buying the same way. You just make sure you're targeting a voice activated speaker or a Fire TV, which has voice capabilities. Um, initially, we were saying to just have a call to action and bolt the call to action to the end of the audio ad. But we've learned over time that to get better performance, you need to change your ad format a little bit. So um, instead of the full 30 seconds, you'll have 15 seconds giving like, traditional awareness message, giving people um, uh, information about your brand and, and increasing name, name play or name awareness. Then you have a hook. So the hook is something that was going to get people to um, learn about why they're going to engage with the advert. Um, and then you have the call to action. The call to action will be how they can engage with it and how they can open up the experience. And what we found that having the call to action repeated twice can increase the number of people who go into it. So in the next one, I'm going to show you an example of an ad um, that we created uh, in the US. Uh, this was for Amazon, and it's for um, Downton Abbey. 
And so this, this particular ad used the format that we had before, and it had tens of thousands of people engaging with it. The other thing that's so cool about this ad is that um, it's actually the exact thing that you need to do to guide people through a journey. So rather than you know, showing them the ad and telling them, go ahead, straight book the ticket, we'll show them the ad, tell them why they should engage with it, so not forcing them to go and book a ticket, but to actually learn more about the brand. Picture event returns, and everyone is back. The British are coming. How musical you make it sound. Downton Abbey, a new era, only in theaters May 20th. Good day. I am Mr. Carson, the butler of Downton Abbey. I would like to invite you on a tour of the Abbey. To follow Mr. Carson into the world of Downton Abbey, say Alexa, launch the Downton Abbey experience. That's Alexa, launch the Downton Abbey experience. Alexa, launch the Downton Abbey experience. You've entered the Downton Abbey experience on Alexa. You can say, buy tickets, play trivia, or start the tour. Play. I'll go through it quickly. But uh, So in there, we do offer the ability to buy tickets, but the majority of people ended up going through to the tour um, or, um, finding out, or having a, um, a playing the trivia. So um, this slide is pretty important, but what, what we're trying to say here is that um, why these ads are so important and why they actually work. So when you run an audio ad or a TV ad, you'll have like one per, so it's, uh, I think it's 0.1% of that audience will actually go on to uh, either Google more about your brand or actually open up your website. Um, and, but there's this whole bunch of people who don't do anything because you're just giving them too much hassle that they have to open up a mobile app or they have to go to a website and do something like that to learn about your product. Um, and so what we, Think, and what, what works is that for every one person who would go onto your website um, or Google, there are nine people who want to engage with you but don't because you're just giving them too much friction to do that. And so this is a campaign that we created for Lexus, which we're, where we came up with those figures or we were able to analyze those figures, where we show the TV advert, they could engage with the TV advert um, and then learn more about the car, but without being able to book a test drive straight away, you, you do that Alexa, later on. launch Lexus LX. This experience is brought to you by Lexus. Completely reimagined for 2022, the all-new LX represents the next chapter of flagship luxury from Lexus. You can use your voice or your remote to navigate this experience. The LX exterior is designed with sophistication and strength in mind. Let us guide you through all the exterior features, or use your remote to navigate at your own pace. The LX X Sport Handling brings Lexus comfort to the next level. Let us guide you through all the interior features. Receive $5 of Prime Video. I'll go through that quickly, but basically that advert is just about um, you're not going to buy a car or book a test drive just by seeing a 30-second advert or a 15-second audio ad, and not, especially not a $100,000 car. But what you may want to do is see more pictures of that car, and that's what that allows you to do. With a simple interaction, um, you can go in, see more pictures, have a look at more features, and then if you decide to, or you're more likely to decide to, um, you can then go ahead, book a test drive, and do all the things that you'll do afterwards. Um, so the main thing that I wanted to go through, and the main uh, topic of this particular thing, uh, this particular talk, is that not only are we running these ads um, and they, you know, they get people to engage with it, uh, but it's the actual insights you can collect from users, especially at the upper funnel. So you know exactly what customers are looking for in the upper funnel in terms of when you're displaying those ads. So and this is the campaign that we did for Windows. We know what what is important to customers because of the, the specific path that they take in those conversations. Um, so that whether they're interested in bigger screens or smaller screens, and all, all this data that you collect, what we tend to find is slightly different to the lower funnel stuff. In the lower funnel stuff, they're, they're more interested in price, but in upper funnel, when they're buying a, t uh, a PC, they're more interested in the aesthetics and what they the features that you can get on a specific uh, PC. And this is the tech that we have that allows you to report the, the actual funnels, and then we automatically generate like a 10-page report uh, which will give you insights and analysis on exactly how those customers are using your, uh, your conversations and also um, how you can improve your upper funnel activity to get more conversions further down the line. Does it take long? No, you can launch an, an ad pretty quickly. It only takes a few hours using our platform. Uh, the only thing that takes time is actually submitting it and getting approved. Um, I'll go through it quickly because I've got a few seconds left. Um, so this is a question, as I said, all the questions I get asked, this is a question that my son asked me. He goes, why don't you just run Facebook and Google ads because they're better? And I go to him, yeah, they are a little bit better, but only at lower funnel activity, not necessarily at top funnel activity. So, 
so that Facebook and Google are great at, um, you know, informational ads and when you're ready to buy, but if you need convincing, you need to show more high resolution images, um, 3D images with voice and activation, and allow people to really learn about the car visually or learn about the product visually, which will get them inspired to go out and actually go into um, booking your, uh, or buying stuff from you um, through your website or your mobile app. So people ask, what's the future? Um, and what we're focusing on is, uh, yeah, we, we're audio first. So we started with Alexa. We're moving on to uh, WhatsApp, because that's launched recently. So we think that, ultimately, um, ads will become audio, voice activation. There'll be visuals involved. And then you can chat to it through, um, through your WhatsApp and things like that. Thanks a lot.